channel is mostly lifestyle and fitness um today i think i'm gonna show you guys a view of what my body looks like especially from the back side a week before my cycle is about to come on and i don't know if this is for every girl but this is for me i realized this in the last three cycles since well actually the last two cycles i had since i've lost weight i've noticed and I couldn't notice it before because my stomach was already big. I would just feel like, okay, my period is coming. But since I've lost weight and since my stomach has went down, I have noticed that I am getting ready to get on my period. I instantly, like, if I eat something or sometimes even if I don't really eat much, I feel bloated. And the bloatedness, I never realized, like, what exactly bloated felt like. I just know that everybody always say, oh, I'm bloated, I'm bloated because you're on your period because your stomach is pudged out. But what if your stomach is already extremely pudged out all the time? Um, and what if you're all, always eating a lot? So you're all, you're really, it really, to me, you can feel bloated even when your period is not coming on if you eat too much and if you're unhealthy and this and that. So, and that's how I think I used to feel. So basically, um, I noticed the last two times, especially with my stomach going down, I was like, I would wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I know I can't be pregnant. Like, what's going on with me? Like, oh Lord Jesus, where my period at? Like, I would literally freak out because I'm like, why is my stomach getting bigger and why do I feel like this? And then I would think back like, okay, well, it is time for my period to come on. Maybe I'm bloated, but bloated this much. And yes, it's a thing like especially the smaller your stomach is the more noticeable your bloat your bloating is like so right now i do know that i am like a little bloated because i know that my period my cycle will be here in like literally less than a week so and mine usually lasts for that whole week or the leading up to the days and then by the third or second day of my cycle is like when my stomach kind of goes back to normal and I don't feel bloated anymore. But I just said that because I'm going to show you guys. I want to show you guys kind of what I look like. At least from the back in comparison. Because, you know, I just weighed myself. And I'm still at the 40 pound mark. And it's been, I know y'all going to get tired of me saying that. But I just say it just in case there's new people on here. Sorry. Um, I'm at the 40 pound weight loss mark. And it's been five months. And yeah, so I just wanted to kind of like give you guys an update on what my body like really looks like. So I'll probably put like a bra on and just show you from the back and some shorts or something and compare it to my old picture. Um, I'm getting ready to get ready for the gym. So I'm going to stretch, get ready for the gym. I'm going to try to eat like a half a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I no longer go work out on empty stomachs and I don't advise anybody else to either. I was doing that for like the first three or four months, which it kind of, you get a better workout when you have food and fuel in your system. So that's it. But all right, I'm gonna get started.
Everybody's like he's no item. Please don't like him. He don't wife him. He one nice him. Okay, so this is what I am going to be wearing to the gym. And I decided to put my hair in a little ponytail because I haven't worn a ponytail with my real hair in a long time. And I just thought it would be cute. You you always want to try to look your best when you can when you go to the gym because for some reason, for me, I can't speak for everybody, but for me, when I look, when I feel like I look good in the gym, like my body is looking good in, in the clothes that I'm wearing, my hair is decent, it's cute or it's decent, um, my lips not chapped. Um, I smell good. Um, you just, you feel better, you do better. You, you, you tend to just give it your all versus being in there feeling like you look like shit and you just ready to hurt and get out of there because you're like, oh my God, I hate the gym. Like it just, like I seen this one girl on a on a uh, YouTube, so I'm gonna give her her credit. I don't remember her name, but I'm I didn't make this up. Like I wasn't the first person to say this, but she said you should get ready for the gym just like you get ready to go out to a party. Now, granted, some girls, a lot of girls actually wear makeup to the gym. Me, I used to wear makeup a lot um, when I first started doing YouTube. That's also because I was trying to get into doing makeup, but Lately, especially since my skin has been so clear lately, um, I really don't wear too much makeup. Like I might do some concealer and I might do my eyebrows and a lip and that's it. But like foundation and blush and all that other stuff, not that I wouldn't do it. I just don't do it anymore. So I don't wear makeup to the gym. Um, I do wear a little perfume to the gym um, just because how you smell going in the gym that's that's your business how you smell going out the gym is nobody's business but if i didn't already say this the girl was like you should get ready for the gym like you get ready to go out to a party or you get ready to go to a date you just dress accordingly meaning obviously you're not going to put on heels <clears throat> obviously you're not going to put on heels for um the obviously you're not going to put on heels for the gym, but you're going to wear the stuff that you're supposed to wear and you're going to put on your best gym fit unless you're just, you know, running out, then whatever, throw on a quick pair of sweats, shorts, whatever, and a big t-shirt and you're still good because that can be a good look and cute look too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I am about done here. So I think I'm going to gather all my things. I finished my tea. I actually had an oatmeal pie this morning which I haven't ate an oatmeal pie in so long because those are really not healthy for you all. Uh, a Rice Krispie Treat is your best snack to eat if you're going to eat something pre-workout or after workout or whatever. Um, oatmeal pie, definitely wouldn't recommend for so many reasons. But that's all I had. I didn't have any bread. So I was like, oh, great. Can't eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So yeah, so that's that. But at least I have something... I, at least I have some calories in my body this morning that I'm going to be able to burn off and work off of. So I'm going to try to get some content in the gym. Like I said, my gym be tripping. They don't want you recording. So I'll be like sneaking and recording for y'all. So make sure y'all like this video. Make sure if you haven't already subscribed and let's continue with this vlog. Okay. 
I'm just getting back home and I don't know if this is ponytail, if it's my pants, but God has been good today, baby. And I'm gonna wear this ponytail more often because first, and sorry mama, if you see this video, I told you 40, but the truth was, I, they about to see the truth. Um, but I told you 40 because I ain't want you to ask me for nothing just yet. Not saying like that. I, I would give it to my mama. That's not the problem. But I was just like, hold on, baby. Hold on. Not this time. Just let me hold on to this because I need to see something. It, it came right on time. That's what I'm saying. So I get to the gas station and this older man, he probably in his late 60s. To be honest. Yeah, he probably he, he a black man in his late 60s. And he like, well, he gets behind me while I'm paying for my gas. No, I'm lying. What happened was I ended up going to go get some boiled peanuts from the store. If you're from down south, then you know what that's about. If not, yeah. I was getting some boiled peanuts from out of the store. And he was like, I got it, I got it. And I was like, okay, thank you. Not thinking nothing of it. Boiled peanuts are $3. Then... What happened next? Oh, then, so I paid for my gas. I put 10 in my gas tank. And he walks up behind me as I'm pumping my gas. And he was like, can I pay you back for your gas? And I'm confused. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, sure. I'm not going to stop you. And I was like, how you going to do that? And he was like, I'm going to give it back to you. He was like, what you put in? I said, I put in 10. And he was like, all right. So if he pulls out $40 at first and he hands me the $40. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And he was like, no, no, thank you. And I'm like, okay, no, thank you, but okay. So then he's like, give me that back. And that, in my mind, I'm like, what? Is he trying to prank me or something? I'm like, what's this about? So I gave him the 40 back and he was like, let me give you something better. And he gave me, hold on. He literally gave me a hundred dollar bill, y'all. I was like, oh wow, thank you. And he was like, no, thank you. And if you need anything, I mean anything. You know how them old people talk. If you need anything, you hit me up. And I was like, oh, okay. Somebody trying to be somebody sugar daddy, little bit, you know. You got the wrong one over here, but I will take what you give me. Because I ain't do nothing for it, but be in the right place at the right time. So, uh-uh. Let's try. But yeah. I just had to take all that bad. And what else is happening? Oh, and then as I'm coming into my apartments, I'm putting stuff in my car and getting stuff out of my car. And this guy is in his car driving out on his way out. He rolls down his window. I've never seen him before. So I don't know who he came here for. He don't live out here. And he was like, excuse me, excuse me. And I'm gonna be honest, he was cute. So if I was single, but unfortunately, every time your girl is not single, nobody's trying to mingle. But um, if I was single, he might've, I might've would've flirted a little bit, if I'm just being honest. Sorry, baby, if you're watching this, you know, you got my heart, so just chill. But um, I know you ain't watching this, so I don't care. Um, but yeah, he was like, Oh, he was like, uh, excuse me, excuse me. And I was like, yes. And he was like, you got a name? I mean, I don't think I'm nameless, but I didn't say that. I was just like, yeah, Shay. And he was like, oh, okay, Shay. Um, you got a man? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, okay, dang. All right, well, then I just want to tell you you're beautiful. And I was like, thank you. And that was so sweet because usually, you know, guys will keep trying to go on and go on with it instead of just giving you a compliment and going about your way. He gave me my compliment and went about his way respectfully. So he wanted some cool points for that. But not too, not too cool, okay? Because like I said, I'm not single anymore. But yeah.
else for another day. That's the show enough the truth. How about everybody else? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? How was your week so far? How's it going? Any news to share? I'm feeling better today. 